the motherfucking bubble! Okay, um, when slash what events should we buy tickets for for freshers? So there's usually this thing, right now obviously there is the small teensy tiny issue of coronavirus so we don't really know what's actually going on. We don't know if they're gonna be events for freshers. Yeah, um, however what normally happens is in around like July, August there's this like they'll start showing what events are going to be happening first freshers event every year is called welcome to the bubble um it's just like a standard club night out in 601 the union club what the fuck maybe you're just bad at this i think i'm bad yeah, at it, right? wait it's wait. a standard club night out good djs it's always fun it's very just normal music it's always a good idea to go yeah and it's the first night so everyone's gonna be super happy and ah i think it's broken mm. the so. first saturday of freshers is always welcome to the bubble this first sunday of freshers is always clan warfare yeah and the first well the only wednesday of freshers is always sinners the friday of freshers is always the bop the, bop. the other nights they'll usually get People performers in, yeah. or like, like last year famous was... people to come in actually we had well, this was refreshers, but we had like Cascada come. Every time we, touch, I get this feeling. we had S Club, S Club, three. yeah, so that's like, like S three Club members seven. of S Club Seven. Um, they usually get like some people from Love Island, like the people mm. who didn't win. They'll yeah. get them to like come like take pictures and stuff. And but we've no. also had drag queens. We had Cheryl Hall come um, to perform in refreshers. Um, I waved at her. She waved back. It was That's a moment. All. What is it like being 17 for first year? So you're very lucky because I was 17 for all of first year. So you'll, I can tell you first time experience. It was literally fine. She's baby. In the union, you can get in if you're underage. You'll have a little UA marked on your hand so that the bar tenders won't serve Sweet. you alcohol, but it's fine. You can just kind of pre. If don't try and get, uh, yeah. don't try and like, you'll buy drinks because don't. you will get, you can get banned get from the union and that's not fun because most people go out to the union on nights out and especially so, in, as freshers yeah so it's yeah. not worth it because you're just gonna hurt your own social life some i've events, still had a good time some events are 18 and over only but like a yeah. lot of the balls like the big balls they'll just sell you an underage ticket which is like a different color yeah what are the various balls like which are worth going to uh, these are the ones that we think are worth going to. Take a second to pause the video if you want to like you can read look it. at them. If you need more information, comment. comment on the video and we'll try to answer them. Is the social life in St. Andrews really that bad? No. no. It's mm. honestly really good, so yeah. don't worry about that. I think the only thing is like we don't have any clubs here, so if you're looking for like a oops, oops, oops kind of but clubbing like, night, no. but you can go to Dundee and it's fine. There are places that have like uns 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 music, but we'll explain what places have those. They're not technically clubs, but yeah. we'll explain. Uh, is it easy to make friends in your hall? Yes. Yeah, always. How many events are there per week? I Depends. Mean, mm. Usually, like honestly, if you wanted to go out every night, every night you could. Are there people who love to go out and party? What are house parties like? Really good. I feel like the first time you throw a house party, it's not always gonna be the best. fantastic. However, actually, okay, like we are second years. So this is, this was our first year living not in halls. We together threw a house party in collaboration with VS, yes. which is a DJ collective here. And we'll explain what a DJ collective is in a hot second. But we threw a house party at our flat in, in like September, so right at the beginning of the school year. And it actually was really, really fun and it was mm. totally open on invite and like anyone could come. Yeah. And it was one of the best nights I think I had in St. Andrews. Yeah, except and the pistachios. Yeah. Someone found a packet of pistachios and just spread all the seeds, the shells, shells like everywhere. Everywhere, it was just a sea of pistachio yeah. and that wasn't fun to clean up. So respect people's property if you go to a house party because they have to clean up and mm. they're being nice enough to not force everyone there to clean up the next day. Yeah, and don't puke in their sink. Uh, are there many bars in town? Yes, yes. there are a ton of bars. So there are, there are bars that are like bars, bars, and then there are pubs. Mm. The main student bars would be uh, the Union, the Vic, pending what happens to that because they think they, they shut down for whatever reason. The rule. The rule. Um, Aikman's, but Aikman's is nice because during the day, honestly, during the day and at night, it's a really good mix of students and locals. Like tons mm. of students go, so, ugh, tons of students go, but there are also a lot of locals there. So it's a nice like 
mix of people. Yeah. Um, also, the Dunny. A lot of students go. Well, a lot of American students go. That's the Dunvegan. The Dunvegan. It's nice. I used to work there. I love it. It's a great pub. They have the best notches in St. Andrews. Uh, it's also the most expensive fight in St. Andrews, so it's kind of a flex. The Union has the cheapest. She works in the Union. She's I do. Come say hi. Um, Show your ID. Bring your ID for freshers. You will not get served during freshers if also, you don't have a valid also, ID. Also, at Americans, ah! something I was really disappointed at was that in the Union, American driver's licenses are not considered proper ID, like government-issued ID. If you're American, bring a passport or your BRP card. Mm. Your BRP card is better because... And don't lose it in someone's flat. Do people usually only become friends with people in their halls? No. 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 Is it likely freshers will be off this year? Who knows? Does it cost money to get into the Union? It depends. There's four sections of the Union. 601 is the club cost money to go into unless it's specifically it's unless they free. specify that it's a free night it will cost three, like pounds, three pounds which isn't a lot main bar sandy's bar beacon bar all free to get into you don't have to pay obviously you just have to pay for the drinks explain what a dj collective house party is uh we kind of explained that so we well we didn't so a dj collective <laughs> is because we don't have really like clubs mm. here um there are a lot of little organizations called dj collectives where a bunch of DJs. people can a bunch of already djs and then you can sign up for like dj classes if you want to become a dj for them and they will dj events in pubs and bars and house parties mm. sometimes so like the first house party that we hosted it was like jsm x vs and so vs is a dj collective that hosts house parties and they look for people to volunteer like their homes up for house parties and so we did that and it was really fun but then there are other ones there's wax mm. there's basement there's bpm that's um, a lot copper coil is an all-female one that's i think only started this year but they're really dope they're mm. like the coolest people i've ever met in my life <laughs> Um, simp. <laughs> simp. Simp! How expensive are pubs? It depends. It depends. But what's but also student about, discount. The rule has student discounts and also society's fuck. We should have talked about the student discounts you get. Like your society discounts and the- mm, Watch our other video and bear in mind that societies give you discounts. Best place for drunk food. Empire, Empire or Shawarma House. Or Shawarma House. There's four places that, or five places that I can think of that stay up long enough for you to get food like after a night out. That's Empire, Empire Dervish, Dervish Shawarma, Shawarma House, Courtyard, Courtyard and, and the Toasty, Toasty Bar. Bar. Oh my God, Toasty Bar is open on Friday nights. 50p toasties for as much in it as you want like you could have like just a cheese toasty that will cost you 50p or, or you could have ham cheese pesto pickles tomatoes salsa all in one marshmallows it's... well don't do that but you can get sweet toasties savory toasties and they have a special toasty every week so yeah. once sometimes it's like peri peri chicken or sometimes Jaffa it's like cakes. mars bars it's so good yeah best night out you've ever had <sighs> i'm trying to think um Okay, I, I have one that I can think of right now. Okay. Like, I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's the one that came to mind. So you and me went to, I think it was just the Union, and we had a really nice time because we, like, met a bunch of people we'd never met before. Mm -hmm. And we were outside sitting with that girl oh, from yeah. Manchester. And then we came back, and I tried to get milk out of the fridge, and, and I was really dropped. drunk. And I just dropped the milk on the floor, and it, like, split open. And I didn't know what... It, what um. I d I didn't know what to do because I was drunk. Um so there was just milk and pouring just out kept... all over the floor. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> uh okay, the one that comes to mind actually is Welly Ball. This Welly Ball? Yeah. Well I didn't go last year, but Welly Ball was really oh, actually, fun. Actually Welly Ball was really fun. It's I it's not obviously it's obviously not like a normal night out because that was a ball. But Serena and I bought tickets together. And we kind of anticipated that more of our friends would go. We didn't go. But really, <laughs> only our other friend Kieran, her academic husband, ended up going. But it was so fun because it was like really kind of just us three. And then we met a few other people there um, that we like kind of knew. And there was that guy from Oxford. Hey guys, honestly, it's been a fantastic night. Good. Be yeah. at Oxford next week. So I'm gonna have be a couple more drinks. I'm we met so many people that night and it was so fun because because you're in wellies you're so comfortable you're, comfy, you're not in heels and it's fantastic and it's incredible and Patriarchy. we love to see it do people from outside of st andrews come to perform yes they do like um, we said 
in our other videos. There are people who come from outside of St. Andrews to perform for things that aren't like club events, so mm -hmm. not like Cascada or whatever, like, but we have Sounds of Sandys. We have this thing called Sounds of Sandys, Sandys Bar is in the Union. Sounds of Sandys is this new thing that happened this year. Um, almost every Friday we would bring in a band from Scotland or maybe just the UK, but mostly Scotland, uh, to come perform in Soundy in Sandys. In Sandys. And it would either be like punk or rock or indie rock or psych we had rock psych or... rock we had rappers we had like san andrews based rappers yeah. aka prince the love of my life also messed up youth john kite my life. john kite who's also now our new head of production also the loveliest person i've ever met in my life we just san andrews musicians are incredible uh top three sesh songs Two one two. Two one two. two, one, two. two. Uh, uh, yeah, that's like one of by ours. Azalea Banks. Yeah, love. And then for you, uh, I think my other two would be Real Raver mm. by TS Seven. Gun fingers. If you're a real raver. And um, Peace of your shut. Heart? Oh, Peace of Your Heart by Medusa or Shut Down by Skepta. Or Julia. Or Shut Down by Skepta. They're just really. They're really good. <laughs> Uh, mine would be Balenciaga by Cheat Codes. Cheat Codes. And I showed you that song. She did, and Losing It by Fisher. That's such um, a like peak. It's, it's like yeah. it will play every night without fail. Yeah. Um, um, well, that's pretty much it for nightlife and social events. We're gonna do another one of these about like, traditions. Traditions and just kind of like miscellaneous questions we couldn't mm. fit into a. We haven't done academics yet. We haven't done We're academics. Gonna do we academics need to do academics. Yet, that is kind of the whole point of university. Oops. Yep. We're paying 20k for this. Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs>